Recently, I realized that just extruding a logo, slapping a material on it, is just not that interesting anymore. And there's actually so many insanely cool ways that you can use logos in 3D for branding purposes and commercial work that have nothing to do with an extruding an SVG. So today I'm gonna to give myself a challenge. I'm gonna take these logos, think about the brand, think about the product, and make something that I actually think the brand would want to use. And hopefully by the end of this, you'll have some cool ideas of your own to bring into your own professional and personal work. So let's do it. Let's get the Adidas logo here. The idea I think I'm gonna approach with this is arranging all the tennis balls in the shape of the logo. It's a very simple idea, but it's also very effective and we'll add some tennis rackets and stuff around it to add some context. Just lots, lots of duplicates here. And sometimes there's a little bit of manual labor involved in 3D and that's okay. Next thing I need is a tennis court floor. All right, I think we got some nice cracks going on here. That looks really good. Then let's move the lines so that they're kind of pointing at the logo. It's a pretty cool design principle we're using here. All right, let's put a racket here. We can just kind of spruce it up, add a couple rackets for context. This looks pretty good. And here we have it. This is the final product. A little bit of color correction in Photoshop. And I mean, this looks like something straight from Adidas. So hire me. Hey. All right, I'm a big fan of ACG. I even own uh, a pair of their shoes and it's a brand that stands for all conditions gear. So if I think if I put the logo in kind of a, some kind of dirty outdoor environment, that would look really, really cool. Just gotta line up all of our UVs. Uh, perfectly. I really like to blend the image file of the original logo with an image texture and so you can really have some fun with that with blending colors and all that stuff. All right, let's get some displacement in here. Also, by the way, if you want to learn all of these scene files step by step, I'm putting those on my Patreon. I'm uploading one a day for the next six days. So if you want to learn step by step exactly how I built these scenes, you can check that out linked in my bio. There's also a bunch of really cool things on my Patreon. I'm on there all the time. Feel free to check that out. Onward. And now that it's cloth, we can just kind of drop it right on our displacement. That looks pretty good. I have this ground material here, so what I'm gonna do is just kind of add it on top of the logo to make them uh, really work together, kind of give it that cohesive feel. I'm using an add-on called Grass Blade to make it kind of easier to distribute all these plants and rocks. You can actually check, uh, there's a link in the description if you wanna check out this add-on. It does make your life a lot easier. Here it is, it's all finished. I love this one, I think the whole idea was making the logo look like it's in a real living environment. I kinda think I nailed it. I'm in love with this one. All right, I think next what I wanna do is play with the Supreme logo. I know the brand as a whole is synonymous with skateboarding and I kinda wanna project text over a bunch of objects at once. So, bunch of skateboards, project text, pretty simple prompt here. Okay, we're just gonna get a bunch of these guys like this and just drop them nice and easy. So I have all these skateboards with a nice red wooden material on them. So all I have to do is set up a projection system in the nodes and then just bring that over just like this. And now our text is projected over them. So when you put the camera above it, I mean, it just looks really, really cool. You know, I kind of want to go back to the idea of the tennis balls because there's another interesting thing I want to try out. The balls are already placed for me. I just pulled them from the last scene. So that makes my life a little easier. And then here's what's fun. You can just kind of randomly move them all up and down, which creates a really cool effect. Now I'm going to quickly add a floor to kind of light our scene really nicely from the bottom. Here's the cool part. It's going to be a really interesting logo reveal slash like optical illusion. So all we have to do is animate the camera at the bottom and then as it pulls out, it's gonna reveal the Adidas logo. And here it is as kind of a final result. I think it just looks so cool. Big fan of this one. All right, I wanna try animating one. Uh, and I recently saw this post on Instagram and I thought it was so cool. So I kinda wanna build something inspired by that kind of LED inside of a room. I think it's really cool. First, I'm gonna need my floor. So he's gonna go there and the ceiling is just kinda gonna go right that. And we're also gonna need a background wall. Here's our room. All right, we're gonna use some concrete materials for this. We'll bring up the pieces here. All right, let's get some ambient lighting on the pillars right up here. That looks really, really awesome. All right, so here is the LED wall and I need to animate some content that's gonna play on top of it. So here's what I'm thinking for that content. I wanna animate it very snappy, very quick, like it's a Nike run campaign. So just very choppy, very quick. 
That's kind of where I'm thinking for this. All right, I like the visual contrast between medium, big, and then three little small ones. I like that, that'll look really cool. Let's get kind of like an easing animated version of this. I think to fully sell the idea of like Nike run, Nike fast, let's have these really quick cut pieces to really set this really interesting mood where it's like bah, 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 and then back to bold Nike. I think that looks awesome. All right, so we've applied the animation to the LED. I'm just gonna click around the timeline show. Looks really cool. Looks really clean. This is perfect. Just gonna go ahead and animate the camera to move. That's gonna give this such a cool kind of cinematic shot for this. And boom, it's all done. This looks super cool, looks super sick. Looks like it's like a shot from a commercial that you'd insert into it as like a 3D artist if you got hired for that, something like that. Very cool. This this one took a lot of work, but it was really fun. And that's it. Hopefully you got some cool stuff from this. There's honestly hundreds and hundreds of other ways to take different brands and logos and think about them in the context of the product and the context of the brand to make really interesting things and adding things into your portfolio is really just gonna take them to the next level. And we have the power of that in 3D, so it's really cool. Again, if you wanna learn all of those projects, plus a bonus one, that's gonna be uploaded on my Patreon starting today for the next six days. Really cool stuff there if you wanna check that out linked in my bio and it helps support the channel. With that being said, I'll see you in the next tutorial. ACG. All right, you guys. Put your ears forward. Stop shaking your little aggravate. No. I'm trying to record right now. Look at this. I'm trying to record. No, I'm not talking. Guys. All right, let's narrate it. Let's narrate. She's acting like she doesn't care. She's waiting for a pounce. Darby sees the moment. Boom. <laughs>